welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll explain you autocorrelation of energy signal in previous session i have explained you meaning of correlation now in this session we will see autocorrelation and that of energy signal so as i have explained you earlier autocorrelation is a similarity of signal x of t with its shifted signal x of t minus 2 so that is what autocorrelation it is similarity of signal x of t with its shifted version x of t minus 2 so that is what autocorrelation it is a similarity in between si signal x of t with its shifted version x of t minus 2 and as we know if there is no similarity if there is no similarity in between x t and x of t minus 2 then autocorrelation will be zero so if there is no similarity in between two signals one signal xt and its shifted version x of t minus 2 in that case autocorrelation of that function will be zero now see here i'll explain the autocorrelation of energy signal so first before we apply autocorrelation function we should know that signal is energy signal so for energy signal energy of that signal is finite so for energy signal for energy signal energy of signal is finite so whenever you calculate energy of any signal then that energy should be finite like see if i calculate energy by basic formula integration minus infinite to infinite x of t whole square dt then it should be finite means it should be less than infinite in that case one can say this is energy signal x of t is energy signal now let us define autocorrelation function here so see autocorrelation that is been defined as r11 so if i say r11 of tau this tau is shifting parameter and that we can calculate by integration from minus infinite to infinite and if you have x of t that is real signal then that is defined as x of t into x of t minus tau dt and here if x is imaginary signal or one can say complex signal in that case any one out of two should be considered as conjugate of it so if i consider x of t minus 2 as a conjugate so that will be a calculation of complex signal with autocorrelation calculation and here even you can calculate same thing by x of t minus 2 x of t dt where one can consider x of t as conjugate of it so as i have told you any one of two signal should get considered as conjugate of it so here i have considered xt as a conjugate here i have considered xt minus 2 as a conjugate of it and then do same calculation of integration so that is what autocorrelation now see here tau is very important parameter tau is very important parameter by what quantity signal is getting shifted so that is been justified as tau so one should know this here tau is equals to one can say scanning parameter searching parameter delay parameter or shifting parameter so it is shifting parameter in different books you will be finding different names are given so it could be shifting parameter it could be scanning parameter
इट कुड बी सर्चिंग पैरामीटर इट कुड बी डिफाइन एज डीले पैरामीटर सो डिफरेंट नेम्स आर देर विथ टो एंड वन शुड अंडरस्टैंड शिफ्टिंग मीन्स वॉट एक्चुअली यू विल बी शिफ्टिंग एक्स सिग्नल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम टी सो हियर इफ यू हैव रेफरेंस विच इज देर एट टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो देन यू हैव टू डिले दैट सिग्नल बाय टो सो दैट इज वॉट डिले पैरामीटर वन कैन से सर्चिंग पैरामीटर बट this auto correlation that is getting affected by changing value of tau so all those things that we will discuss in uh, properties of auto correlation so you can easily understand what is the importance of tau and for real signal for real signal you don't need to consider this uh, conjugate and directly one can calculate auto correlation of it so let me mention that even for real signal for real signal x of t you can say auto correlation so that is integration from minus infinite to infinite x t into x t minus 2 dt so this is what the calculation which is there for real signal so this is all about auto correlation of energy signal in next session i'll discuss properties of auto correlation for energy signal and then we will see different properties of auto correlation for energy signal with its proof and i will derive all those proofs which is there with auto correlation property one in one by one videos so you can give your valuable suggestion thank you so much for watching this video definitely i'll explain you complete auto correlation cross correlation its property everything regarding correlation in this playlist of signal and system and this calculation of correlation that is even helpful to you in digital signal processing subject in a subject like image processing as well as this is important uh, in mathematics even so this topic is very much important in different subjects so one should study this thoroughly so that they can be able to solve problems in mathematics signal processing digital signal processing image processing so everywhere this is been utilized so just study it thoroughly i'll be making this for all courses so that everybody can learn it properly thank you so much for watching this video